friends, we're gonna be drying leaves. Yeah, fall is one of my favorite seasons of the year, and it's because the leaves change color and it looks amazing. So I thought it would be fun to draw leaves today, and we're gonna show you how to draw six different leaves. It's a lot, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, the first leaf we're gonna draw is an elm, and we're gonna draw three leaves on one sheet of paper, and then we're gonna get a new sheet and draw three more. So we're gonna start up here in the top right, and we're gonna draw the middle of the leaf first. So we're gonna draw a curved line, kind of up here on the top left. All right, now an elm leaf is shaped like a football, but it's got jagged lines on the side. So we're gonna start down here towards the base, and we're gonna draw a zigzag line, and it can be a crazy zigzag line because we want it to look natural. And then we're gonna come back down towards the point right here. Yeah. That's cool, and your zigzags are getting a little big towards the top, yeah. and that's okay, we're practicing, but we wanna keep them kinda of small. So now we're gonna draw zigzag lines and curve down here at, on the right side. Try to keep the zigzags short and small. Cool, it looks good, dude. Now we're gonna draw the veins, and those are the lines that connect the stem out to the edge. So we're gonna draw a lot of them, and we're gonna angle them down. See how they're angled diagonal? Yep. And then on the other side, we're gonna angle the other direction. Good job. Now, when we fast forward the video, what can our friends do at home? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time to finish a step. The next leaf we're gonna draw is a poplar leaf. Now we're gonna draw a curved line for the center, but we're gonna angle it the other direction. So we're gonna curve it this way. Is that cool? Yeah. This time we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna do a little zigzag line up at the top and it's gonna be an upside down V. So we're gonna go just a little, little shape like this, little V shape, upside down V. Yeah. Good. Now on this side, we're gonna draw a curve that comes out and we're also gonna add the zigzag lines also. So I'm gonna draw this stem just a little further down. Now watch this, we're gonna do a zigzag, we're gonna come out, and then we're gonna come back in like that. So see how it comes down? Yes, curves out, and then it curves, curves back in. Good. Good job. So we're gonna do zigzags. I'm doing the same thing. Whoop. And we're gonna come out further. And then back in. And that's okay that it looks wobbly yeah. because we want it to look natural, like it's off the tree. Yeah. Nature. Nature. <laughs> now we need to draw the veins that we drew up here, but we're not gonna draw as many. And I'm not gonna draw them all the way out to the edge. So there's one. And we're gonna angle them up, but we're gonna space them further away. Cool. I'm gonna draw two more and then one at the very top that's really short. And then we could do those same veins on the other side. All right, you did awesome on those two leaves. Now the next one is gonna be even trickier. It's a walnut and it has a lot of leaves on it. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw a, the stem down the middle. We're gonna curve it this way. Now on this one, we're gonna, we could also draw zigzags, but let's keep this one a little easier and we'll just draw smooth lines. We'll leave the zigzags off. So we're gonna draw a football shape that's up here at the very top. So we're gonna come out, in, and right at the end we can curve a little bit. Good, and then we're gonna come back the other way for the other side. It's like a raindrop. Oh yeah, it kinda does look like a raindrop. Good, now we're gonna draw more leaves going down the side. But to do that, let's actually draw the center first and I think that'll help us. So let's draw a line that comes out and we're gonna draw a line that comes out on the other side also. Now we're gonna draw a leaf that goes around the shape and we want it to look the same as this first one. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes out, back in. Now when we're drawing the leaf, we can make sure that this curve comes back in to where the stem started. Okay. And then on the other side, I'm gonna draw kind of an S shape. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now if you want to make it a little trickier, you could draw those zigzag lines, kind of like we did on the first two leaves. All right, now let's draw the other side. I'm gonna draw another curve that comes out, back in. 
Okay, now we're going to draw the other side. And I'm going to draw an S curve, kind of like I did over here. Cool. Now, the next set of leaves are going to be smaller than these two. So we're going to draw that center curve, but we want to draw it shorter than the first one we drew. I'm going to draw another one over here. Then we're going to draw the outside just like we did on the first one. We'll go a little faster since we're repeating the same steps. So I'm going to draw the outside on this side. Okay, now we're going to do it one more time, and this one's going to be even smaller. And then we draw the outside. Is that cool? Yeah. It's looking really awesome. Okay, we did it, except we need to draw the veins on the inside. Now this top leaf, we should have drawn the center part first. There we go. All right, now let's draw the veins. And we're going to do Vs all the way up our leaf. And we're going to do it on this one. And then the rest of them, we're going to fast forward. So you guys can pause the video again to, to finish your leaves. We finished drawing three leaves. Now we need to get a clean sheet of paper and we're going to draw three more leaves. Okay. Sound like fun? Yes. The next leaf we're going to draw is a birch leaf. And it's actually, it's kind of a cross between these two leaves. So we're going to draw the stem first, the middle part. We're going to draw a big curve that comes down. Okay, now we're going to draw, we're going to draw an S line, but we're going to do that zigzag. So we're going to come out like this. We're going to zigzag around. It's going to be tricky. And then we're going to curve back the other direction. See, so yeah, it's trying to curve one way and then curve the other way. Yeah, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start over here. Curve out. And then we'll zigzag. S curve back to the point. And then if you want, you can finish the stem all the way to the end. Now we're going to draw the veins inside, and we're going to draw a lot of them. Okay. Next, we're going to draw the, one of the trickiest leaves, and that's the maple leaf. So we're going to draw that first center line. We'll draw it diagonal and curved. And I probably should have left more room over here on yeah. the right side. <laughs> that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. Now, we're going to draw the bottom first. We're going to draw a short line down here at the very bottom. I'm going to draw it curving. Okay, now we're going to draw a V that comes down and connects to that bottom, and it's going to be longer. So we're going to start here, and we're going to draw, it comes down, and then I'm going to draw curving back up over here so we have room. Cool. Good job. Okay, now we can draw the outside shape of our leaf. Now, down here, we're going to draw a V that comes out and then back in on each side. Good. Now we're going to draw a W shape down here to connect into the stem. So we're going to draw, comes out, up, back down, and then connect in. And we're trying to draw this realistically. And we're going to draw that same W shape over here. There's the bottom of our leaf. We're going to come back up here and we're going to draw another upside down V shape on the end of each side. Good. Now we can draw another spike over here on this side. And then this one's going to come down and connect to the bottom. Now we can do the same thing over here. And I like how you're adding extra zigzags. That looks really cool. All right, now we can draw the top part. We're going to draw another upside down V. Then right here, let's add an extra little bump will come down back up and another little bump right there at the end cool let's do the same thing on the other side little bump come down back up another little bump does that look awesome yeah looks very realistic and i like all the extra little zigzags you added okay now let's add the veins inside now i'm going to come over here i'm going to i'm going to continue the lines all the way to the end of the leaf 
Okay, what are we missing on our maple leaf? The veins. Yeah, we need to draw the veins. So we can start up here on each end and we can draw a couple that connect right at the very tip of the leaf. Then we can come down further and draw a few more veins on each side. Draw them over here too. And then we can draw them down the middle also. And then I'm also going to add a few down here at the very bottom. And some of these you don't have to connect to the outside. They can just be really short. And I'm going to add a couple of short ones up here also. All right, it looks so cool. The maple leaf is probably my favorite. Yeah. And it's also a great one to practice because it has so much detail in it. Okay, now the last and final leaf is? The oak leaf. Yeah, the oak leaf. And this is a really fun leaf to draw also because it's got a really cool shape. Now we're gonna draw the middle part. I'm gonna draw it angled up to the side. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the veins first on this one. So we're gonna draw some long ones right in the middle. These ones are gonna come out a little further than the rest. I'm gonna draw them off to the side. I'm gonna draw two more long ones right in the middle. Now let's draw a short one up here at the top. And then we're gonna draw, we can draw one down here at the bottom. Let's add, let's add two more short ones down here at the very, very bottom. And I'm gonna extend the stem down. All right, now this is the fun part. We're gonna draw the left side first. We'll start down here at the bottom. Watch this, we're gonna go around all of the little veins with a big S line. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> and then at the very end, we're gonna curve back around the top like this and keep going down the other side. This is a really fun line to draw. All the way down to get to the very end where you started. All right, we did it too. Good job, man, give me five. Now we still need to do one last thing, what is it? A color. Yeah, we still need a color. We're gonna use fall colors, right? We're gonna use Red, Red orange, orange, yellow, yellow maybe even purple, brown, yeah. But you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring or you can use your own creativity and color your leaves any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. we finished coloring and coloring leaves is one of my favorite things because yeah. it's so much fun to blend all of the different colors together. Yes. I love that it changes from the red to the orange and then into the yellow and then we also did a green leaf up here that's just barely turning yellow. Yeah. Now you can have a lot of fun and use your imagination to color your leaves any way you want. You could also pause the video right now to match the same coloring. Now our other leaves turned out awesome too, didn't they? Yeah. And on our maple leaf, I really like this one because we blended it going the other direction. Red at the top, then down orange, and then finally to yellow. And then this one, our oak leaf, I love that you changed it and colored it differently. And this one's solid. You can also do that too at home. You don't have to blend it the way that we did it. You can just color them solid. You can do red, solid orange, solid yellow. Another fun thing you can do is you can cut these out and use them as decorations. Yeah, we will be a lot of fun drawing your fall leaves. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing them and coloring them. And remember, it's okay if your leaves look different. In fact, I hope they look different. Yeah. Because the most important thing is, hey, boom. Yeah, to have fun and to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.